Hi there. And welcome back to Golden Empress Collection. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me. Aquarius, this is a beautiful June love message for you. It's going to help you move through life, whatever it is you need it to do, okay? If it doesn't resonate, it's not for you then. I am picking up on you, Aquarius. I keep hearing you're next, okay? Um, the other thing that I'm also hearing, if they're saying Aquarius is next, Aquarius is next. Then I'm also picking up on 219. Okay, so that may be someone's birthday. That may be something that happened um, to you, happened to somebody else on that day. I'm hearing there could have been a birth. What else for my Aquarius is, please? Yeah. When it's time to go, it's time to go. And you know when it's time to go. But who are you, who are you leaving? Well, whoever it is you thought it was your friend. That's for sure. Look at that. And I feel like, yeah, it's someone you love. Check that out, right? Because that's what we just saw. But it's crazy because you want to hold on and you want it to work out. Wow. Aquarius, you guys are, you're sweeties though, you know? And I think with that Six of Swords, what that says is if you know that it's time to move on from something, love or no love, then it's time to move on from something. It's okay. You know, there was a lot of karmic energy that was at, that came to play, you know, with that past uh, eclipse we just had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to go with what I'm, I'm feeling here. Mr. Miss Aquarius here. However this resonates for you. Yeah, there's three women here. This is all separate people, um, all separate entities. This could be just you as well when it comes to being the stable one being a loyal person uh, being quiet and not maybe necessarily expressing your love but when it's time for you to express your love you know how to do it you're not scared to do it either there's no fear here none you're a very loving nurturing person you're very intelligent too you're extremely intelligent between between this queen of pentacles and this piscean cancerian energy the love that you express for someone is unconditional financial opportunities i see between three women could be capricorn sagittarian energy again pisces cancer scorpio Two water signs and an earth sign or a fire sign. Interesting. So your other person is the king of pentacles. Your other person understands what avenue, what venture, what, um, why you hold secrets the way that you do. I, I, they know about you. They know how you manifest. For some reason, hold on. I, I don't know why, but I just got an energy Aquarius of someone who's going to be bringing people together to, to gang up on somebody. Someone that is trying to plan a relationship with you. Yeah. But this person has multiple people, right? And this card is flipped. So what is this? This person has multiple people and probably wants to pull you into drama. I'm laughing because I can feel it. See, look. Look, real fortune, it's like a cycle of manipulation with this person. <laughs> wow, you guys are coming out all over the place. So again, like I said, take it, take it as it resonates. We're going to kind of draw in here and see what else is going on. Because it's like I see good vibration, but I also see the, the shady side of whatever's happening here too. I, You know what I just heard? They're like, stress the fact that Aquarius, there was some sort of karma that happened with that eclipse. Get the rest of these cards out here. Queen of Pentacles and Knight of Wands. Pursuing new ideas. Being quiet about how you're making your moves. I told you that because this person over here knows you're being quiet about how you make your moves. Uh -huh. You're learning. They, I feel like this is someone who's, who's, I don't know why, but you come off Aquarius as having skill. 
you do with whatever venture it is some of you guys are still learning but you're really good at the lesson okay i don't know you're just educated and you're smart that's what i feel so own it there's there's yeah educated and smart okay mm -hmm. okay i see a huge love triangle here but i also see somebody pushing their authority at work okay maybe possibly becoming a manager for you aquarius for some of you guys i'm also picking up on <laughs> this love triangle is a mess i just i see it now because it has to do with multiple families here that someone's trying to keep secret but this also has to do with somebody aquarius you might be keeping secrets about someone that you could be potentially dating yeah somebody out here acting single I don't know why I feel like you're talking to someone about a player and your family members are like do not invest in this person okay yeah look at this I'm telling you there's some sort of relationship here where the effort the energy the truth about where this person's real energy lies whether it's a negative vibration because there's something delayed here there's some sort of an epiphany or some of you guys found out that there was a third party like an actual person because i told you there's multiple people here and your person definitely is living that single life making plans for sex you know ace of pentacles here it's definitely an opportunity i, I see them offering you something <laughs> I told you I told you they're playing games this is a negative vibration of Leo that we just saw mm, mm, mm. I saw eight of swords and three of swords at the bottom of this deck I don't even want to flip this deck over because this person is so nasty they're coming in to talk to you and I feel like it's it's literally to plan something they will go is so far to even say that they love you and want to be with you this person is in their ego hold on you know what I can't be look this is what they're trying to do to you. For real. They're trying to get you caught up. Your other person. You got other people in your energy too though. Right? But you're loving. You're kind. And you need to know that in order to love yourself, boo, cut them off. It is what it is. I, it is definitely a clearing energy. That's what eclipses do. Might take you a minute to kind of figure that out. But this mofo right here is lying. L-I-O-N in that Leo energy. <laughs> I'm laughing. Hold on. And you know, I just realized that there's two cards sitting over here that didn't make it into this stack. So we're going to look at them. Mm, 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 baby. This person is trying to do you. Oh, I don't like them already. <laughs> Let me not pass judgment though, because they have a reason they act like that. And I feel it's a sexual addiction. Definitely a tower moment coming for this person. So scorpionic energy really coming in to kick someone's butt here. Now, when Scorpio energy is kind of like at a, a low vibration, you're you're talking about love. Like they could be overly passionate in a way, and they're deceptive about how they're overly passionate. Okay, because this is the king of uh, the Knight of Cups, right? Yeah, totally scorpionic energy all the way. Very sexual in nature. Tell me about this strength card. That's let's just get into it because this person is trying to do you. I know they are. Tell me about this strength card, but they're really going to end up doing themselves. Now that I think about it, because of the lack, the lack. That's what I'm saying. They're going to end up doing themselves here. Oh, that's not something I feel like you need to deal with. That's the vibration here. Don't deal with it. Offer boundaries. Offer stability and intuition knowing that if you are going to invest in this person, you are investing in a player. Yes, remember the original energy that we just had? Once we, we got to flipping everything, they were like, oh no, you're making a choice to move on. You're making a choice to say, I like the horizons over there. I know that there's, you know, some energy that, that might be shifty. It might be unknown, but I think I got this. Okay. Everything's stable. You're ready to go. Look at this. And not only that, you've got John the Conqueror who at the bottom of this, the baby. When we talk about metaphysical energy here and what it is that you're planning, you're planning on stepping into your power. You also 
are going to be moving. I, I feel for some of you, you have this offer of this other person coming back around. Let me, let me get some clarifiers. I'm proud of you, Aquarius. I'm just going to say that because you know. You know that there's something that's going on here. You know that there's someone around you that has secret family. You know because of the women that are in your life who have taught you better, who have taught you to love yourself. Because mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm seeing right now. I'm seeing the, the feminine, the feminine woman. I see a very bright woman wearing all white. Interesting. Literally with hands up in praise. Okay, hands up in praise. Do you notice how this person's hands are on the lion? The woman that's been guiding you has been guiding you and showing you what your cup is. Intuitively, you know this. I told you, you, and it's in moments of peace. That's why I keep seeing the white dress. They want you to push towards marriage. You can't push towards marriage with someone like this. Because the marriage is all about sexual union because this person is planning on being a playboy and only coming in for that wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Told you. Temperance energy at the bottom of the deck. Spirit is guiding you. Spirit has been watching over you for a minute because of this person. They might offer you money, but you see it. Something also, it's also about their money too. There's something funny about their money. Yeah, this person could have been to prison before. It's all going to be revealed. It's all coming out. You got the sun card here with this Leo energy. They're stuck in an egotistical energy. It actually makes them happy. Wow. To give to multiple people. Oh, they're immature. Yeah. Yeah. Because they don't know how to love themselves. Boom. It, I mean, it is what it is, Aquarius. This is actually a pretty cut and, and, and dry case here. And it's not, as a matter of fact, not only that, as soon as I said that, right, guess what popped up? on my computer that's interesting they, they want me to show you this hold on so they're spying on you they're watching you and not only that i think the person that this person is messing with goes through some sort of tower moment went through some sort of tower moment because of information some sort of information they received there's a message of communication here okay remember i told you we were going to look at this this uh mind games manipulation over the negative vibration that this person holds with ego showing off this person says things to you that tries to stress you out yeah oh my god i don't know what it is guys it yeah this person is definitely a juggler i feel like you also um are, are going to be finding out about this other vibration there's there's something here i keep seeing this because not only did the Sagittarius reading end up with the Sun card over here? You guys are ending up with it over here too. So this is a bigger life lesson for everybody. Explain this bigger life lesson with the Sun card in the future position for Aquarius' person. They know that they're going to get in trouble. They have to heal it. That's what it feels like. But there's also someone else here that makes... Uh, uh, this like a miserable energy mm -hmm. six of coins somebody's given to more than one person here and that's what spirit keeps trying to come out and say spirit's like no you see this truth sit in your loving truth tell me about that there we go yeah two of sticks okay the mother of sticks father of coins hmm Overall energy is that there's going to be a lack of commitment here. When it comes to this two of wands, I feel like Aquarius, you are going to have a third party possibly step in here and try to cock block this person. That's what it feels like. And so that they, and then as long as this person is able to tell you that this person you're dealing with is juggling with the opportunity or the hope that you will walk away from it that's what they want yeah they want to give you the burden that they have as well if they're not going to be able to and this is like an outside person from your other person okay if they're not going to be able to have this person you can't have them either that's what i feel with this yep 
it's, it's a cycle. It's a cycle that this person goes through that has to stop. And this is a bitter ex that's getting ready to come in. She's in, and literally any plans that this person has to try to move on, she's going to continue to try to crush it the entire time. I don't even care if they're together. This person has like a stalker. That page of swords came out tough. And so they might even do stupid stuff like tap phones, check iPhones, look at iClouds. I mean, this person is, is relentless is what it feels like. Okay. But we're, yeah, they're relentless because they can't have this person. This is not you. I'm telling you, this is not you. This is a cycle that this person is going through with somebody that is generationally, intuitively, you know that you don't have anything or need anything to do with this because if you invest in it, you're investing in a player. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius, please? I hope some of you guys got some good um, messages. I think marketing is really, really huge right now. I'm, I'm kind of switching up because I know that there's a business aspect here that has to do with your money because this Ten of Pentacles is front and center. Your stability is extremely important to you. You're pulled in many different directions, Aquarius, or some of you are. But you get it done. I like that about you. Three of sticks, because you know that the long term counts here. That's why I feel like messing with this person might mess up your money. Power moment with what they're offering you. You see what I'm saying? And it's it's like, yeah, somebody's money's gonna get messed up here. Somebody does not want this King of Pentacles, because he's here twice. Somebody does not want this King of Pentacles to do well. Totally trying to block him block their destiny block their happiness right yep look i told you john the horse you had john the conqueror root earlier which talks about the desire and the passion to really control things and get things going the way they need to go get things moving that's why i'm saying this person knows the cycle and the things that you're going through and it's like they try to manipulate that by by finessing you trying to smooth you over and they literally have someone stalking them that's crazy that's i feel like that's the main message here for most of you guys their person is stalking them and you need to get rid of this cycle and literally in the book with this deck this is the garden okay the card says stay in your own lane i bs you not the, the cosmos are here telling you about this conflict for a reason because it's a cycle it's a cycle that that leaves people deprived. It's a cycle that, you know, is not ending properly because somebody feels vested in all of this drama. We saw that night of uh, swords come out. I saw it come out. I know I did. Yeah, I'm, man, you cannot make it up. There's the positive and then there's the negative. This person is sitting in a negative vibration. Okay, when it comes to this Leo energy. You are learning the lesson of the Leo energy as well because you are mirroring this person. You are listening to their offer. Intuitively, you know it's going to take a lot of courage and strength to do what you need to do. I think for some of you, you know, when you, if you do take this offer, this person comes in for you and this other person comes at you, I feel like you're going to feel sorry for this person because you have the five of baskets here. It's kind of like the regret thinking that this person is this person's husband. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're you're thinking to yourself when this person steps forward, and they might even do it in a very awkward way. I see you, they could even come to your job. That's how bad this is. Yeah, they could even come to your job, and I told you, they're stalking you. They're trying to figure out where you're at. Yep, they're doing that now. Yep, because their Ten of Cups would be you moving on and trying to block things and make it, and this is three cards of not making any choices and endings. Four Swords definitely mm, you're not realizing you need to think about what's getting ready to happen here they're getting ready to try to tell you that you need to go so I, I, what I'm, I'm kind of feeling here is yeah because they're telling you about this trap the trap is being revealed <laughs> and what's crazy is you know what I even think I think that this person can't get away from whoever this third person is they can't even if they, they were trying not to be a player and were going to be loyal to you, they couldn't get away from this person if they wanted to. Tell me about this other person. Okay. Just that there is deception there with this third person. I knew there was. I feel like they're not even together. Told you. 
deception over toxicity. It's just a toxic ass relationship. And literally, you might have to end up getting the police involved. But intuitively, you, you will know what the truth is about this. Okay. And this is a, a very uncaring, very, you know, it's with this energy over here, this toxicity, this deception, this is someone who doesn't give a damn at all. Look at that. Someone who, who will harm you, pull a knife on you, pull a gun on you, won't think twice about beating you. Yeah. And they're going to go through this tower moment because you're not going to choose them. You're going to move on because you know that things need to end. I feel like the, I'm telling you, this third person's getting ready to come in and, and try to be sweet about it. That's what I feel. But it's it's so deceptive. It's so deceptive. I don't even think they're together. I really don't. Yeah, I told you. The truth is, is these people are crazy. And they're playing a the game. It's it's immature, um, ass-backwards communication. It's all going to be revealed how someone is... Li look at this. Listen to this. And I don't know why, but I feel the police getting involved with this. With your other person. Because of the games that they were trying to play. Oh, it's all fun and games till cops get called. We have, we're at 21 minutes, my dears. How your person thinks about you, how they feel about you, like literally the feeling, right? What their intentions are going to be towards you, as well as how you're going to do them. This is the month of June, Aquarius, and you guys, I know that Spirit wanted you guys to have this message tonight. I know they did. So, and I can feel the vibration. This is standing out pretty tough to me. Okay, so given that all this drama is getting ready to come out with this person and it's like a cyclical, you know, generational thing here, this person has a lot of money too. I feel like this person has money. They have time to play games, okay? Yeah, they do. They have long money. Seven of coins. They invest. That's why I said there's a marketing thing here. There's something here where someone's in business, if that makes sense. Yeah, I see some of you with heels. I see some of you with skirts on sitting behind you in the little rolly chair. That's what I see. And this person has, they close their office door or whatever. You know about this person. You know about this person. For some of you guys, this is office romance too. Some of you thought you were going to keep it secret that he was married and your family is telling you, you are dead ass wrong. Oh yeah. And that this conflict that's coming is because you bought it upon yourself. That's that karma that came. So somebody's got to get let go of. That's not for all of you. That's for some of you. Okay, Aquariuses. Yeah, and that's why this third party is going to come at you. That's what I said. It's all fun and games. So the cops get called. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to lose it. I think it's the, the other person. It, and it looks like a really messed up Leo energy. Tell me about this. Give me one more message for my Aquariuses. <laughs> yeah. I told you, they got long money. But the thing is, is that Spirit is telling you about this conflict again. It's still here. So, you guys, it's coming. Be prepared for June. Be prepared for whatever this is. It's because Spirit says the only thing that you're going to be able to do is invest in yourself and, and not do anything foolish. You have the free man. You have the seven of um, coins and six of swords. You're already free. What are you waiting for? Is what they're saying. You need to move on. And you need to move on now. <laughs> Some of y'all, this is a karmic person. Okay. It is. The Vimeo extended link is below. If you can't catch me there, don't forget Friday Night Love Tarot. Where we go live and we just talk. We talk. Peace and elbow grease. <laughs>